Hey guys, the listeners with Crypto Marie local and international. We know over the weekend something tragic almost happened to the former President Donald Trump. We wish him nothing, speedy recovery. There is no place for violence in America where there's the fo- former president, regular human being, neighbors, people, period. The violence got to stop. And at the same time, I don't want the Democratic Party to be distracted, to be off track, knowing that current President Joe Biden needs to be replaced by somebody who is able to do the job. If because of what happened, people are now only talking about the attempt assassination of former President Donald Trump, people are going to forget that we need to replace Joe Biden to be able to get the presidency again. If not, we are in trouble. He chose a 39-year-old man to become his VP, J.D. Vance. And I'm sure they have the same kind of thoughts, the same kind of mentality set. So if you think for one second, people are going to forget about Joe Biden's fumble during the debates, during the interview on ABC, and you're thinking, okay, there's so much now being talking about Donald Trump attempt assassination. Don't worry. They'll forget about all the mishap he, um, President Joe Biden did. You are out of your mind. You have to go back, focus. Thank you, God. Nothing happened to the man. And at the same time, you guys cannot forget that that former President Donald Trump was the one always condemn violence, insinuating violence, telling his mega team to go attack, to go do this, to go do that. So at the end of the day, although we don't agree with what happened, but he get to see when he sent all these nonsense stuff to a certain people that don't have no common sense, they are going to react on what you're putting out there, which is violence. And this is exactly what we have witnessed. He can act as Mr. Nice. He was going to throw away some kind of speech he had prepared. Now he's trying to have everybody get in together, have a combine moment, um, stop the violence. At the end of the day, how long is this going to last? Former President Donald Trump is a bully. He's a racist. He insinuated violence. He condemned violence. This is who he is. And all the people that follows him, that want to be with him, support him, those people kind of have the same kind of mindset. The mega cult. Do not forget that. Yes, we don't agree with what happened. The man almost lost his life because somebody did not agree with his political views. But at the same time, the Democratic Party needs to go back on track, know that, President Joe Biden is not going to win. Something needs to be done because this man, former President Donald Trump, going back in the White House with that J.D. Vance guy, it is over for the black people. It is over for immigrants. It is over Because those guys are rich guys and they have a different mindset. They don't care for the middle class. And the fact that people are saying, well, former President Donald Trump caught a bullet for the country. Because of that, he deserved to be president. Give me a break. So you guys go into forget everything he had ever said or done. Because there was some kind of attempt assassination on him. You guys going to give him all the credit now because somebody almost takes his life. You forget about everything. He was convicted not too long ago of 34 felonies. That's already forgiven in the public eye. Saying immigrant take black job. That's already forgiven. Saying he's going to send all the immigrants back. That's already forgiven. Everything is forgiven because somebody attempt some kind of assassination on him. Again, I'm going to emphasize this again. I don't condemn violence. 
I don't insinuate it, any kind of violence. It was wrong in that young man's part to try to take it on his own hands to delete or erase somebody's life, period. And that should be said about anybody living on this planet. Not because he was a former president, not because he's trying to go back in the White House again, and not because he's a white man, rich, millionaire, or billionaire, whatever he considers himself. Any human being, whether it's from the gang members, the rappers, regular people, old, young, rich, poor, nobody should take it in their own hands to take somebody's life, period. That needs to stop. Gun control needs to happen. Yeah, the witch don't want to talk about it. It's benefited them. Something needs to be done. Any fools cannot be able to just buy <laughs> ammunition, buy guns. Something needs to be done. If somebody will go buy 50 ammunition before the rally, something in your mind should say, what in the hell is going on? Where is this man going with these things? Nobody cares. You have money, you can afford it, no question asked. And that's why this country almost turned to the darkest country and something has to be done. Gun control. Enough is enough. How long are we going to be quiet about this gun control thing? Just because the rich don't want I have something to be done on it. Again, do not forget that the Democratic Party has something to do. Replace Joe Biden or you will be a loser party in November. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Thank you for watching.